So in order to get started with Google Expeditions, these are the two devices that you're going to be using. On the left, we have an Acer Insignia tab, and on the right, we have an Asus Zenfone. Now both of these already have the Wi-Fi code set up in them for the Google Expeditions kit. These are not connected to our Wi-Fi network, so before you check out the Google Expeditions kit, you will need to let me know which expedition that you would like to do with your class so that I can preload it onto the Acer tablet. To wake these, if you look at the top of the Acer tablet, you'll see that there's a button right here that you can click to wake the tablet, and then you just swipe up. Now, I'm gonna go back out to the home screen. I'm gonna show you that right here, this is the Google Expeditions app that you'll need to use. So you just click on that. And on the Asus phone, to wake the phones, you'll just click at the top, and then again, swipe up to wake up the phone. And here's the Expeditions app on the phone. Now, you will need to, before bringing in your class, the teacher will need to set up all of the viewers and the phones. Students are not to handle the phones and put them in to the viewers. Everything needs to be set up when they come into class. So before you check out the kit, I will make sure that all the batteries are charged on the devices. Now on the phone, you're going to notice that when you open Expeditions, it asks if um, it shows you the welcome screen and you'll have to hit I accept. Once you do that, it's going to show you this screen and if you'll just tip it forward, it will change to a screen where it's trying to connect over Wi-Fi. And since the code is already preset on all the devices, as soon as it recognizes the tablet as being connected, then it will say ready. If you see that it still shows connecting and these are red instead of green, then what you can do is you can click on the home button right here and get out of the app. And then you're gonna open up the all apps button and swipe to clear any apps that are open and then reopen the Google Expeditions app. Once you do that, it takes you back to this screen, tip it forward, and it'll show that it's gonna connect. And eventually, once it's connected, it'll go green. And it's connected. So from the Acer tablet, this is how the teacher will control everything. And you will need to make sure that when you're setting up the tablet, you need to be a guide. So make sure that if you're on this screen and it asks you if you want to lead or follow, click lead and it'll take you back to this screen. Okay, if for some reason it does not take you to this screen, then you may need to tell the phones that they need to follow. So make sure that the phone is set not to guide, but to explore, and it's set to follow. Once it's set to follow, then you can click on the cardboard viewer icon at the top, or it'll automatically connect back. And again, like I said, tip it forward. We'll show you in a minute how to set these up in the viewer, uh, but to get started with your expedition, uh, like I said, you will need to let me know which expedition you want to do. So if you click on this menu once you receive the tablet and click on downloaded only, I don't know if you can see that here, I'm going to show you a little bit easier. See where it says downloaded only, turn that switch on and it will show you only the expeditions that are downloaded to this tablet and that'll make it easier for you to find yours. Once you're ready, click on the expedition and it will open and you'll notice that the phones will start to connect once you hit play. Okay, so now that I've hit play, the phone is connected and from the tablet, as you can see here, I'm able to point out highlights by scrolling through the prompts that are here. For instance, if I wanted to see the body mass measuring device on this expedition, I would click. And what that does in the student viewer is it puts an arrow in the field of view telling them which direction to look. Now once this is inside the viewer, it'll be a little bit easier for the kids to understand. If you want to go to a different viewpoint, just scroll through. They give you talking points that you can say click and it'll point another, put another arrow in the field of view on the student viewer telling them which way to look. If you want to move on and preview some of the other 
views in the expedition just scroll across it will not affect the students until you hit play and then it will change and it will refresh their view when you're finished you can always just hit this X at the top left of the expedition it asks you if you would like to leave the expedition you just click leave and then the student goes back to the ready screen if for some reason this the phones don't connect like I said just go back to the home screen and open up the all apps screen kill any apps that are open and then reopen Google Expeditions at the end of the day you will want to power down all the devices so take the devices out of the viewers go back to the home screen press and hold down the power button at the top click power off and OK this keeps the phones from getting too hot and the batteries from being expended and of course do the same thing with the tablet just press the home button and click power off and it will shut down both devices and you'll need to do this for each student device and then go ahead and put everything back into the kit and if you have questions you can always contact me at my extension for the next video we'll talk about some of the other information such as care of the devices and how to put them in the viewers.